murals like this one to spaces they haven't been before. I think there's there's immense beauty inside of what people will call the inner city of the hood. The project, titled More Than Art, Inner City Mural Project, Rosetta, partnering with private businesses and public spaces to bring artistic expression into new neighborhoods. Ingenuity, there's innovation, there's creativity, and it comes from a necessity. You know, when you're when you're when you're pushed to, to create certain things out of necessity, that drives that drives that needle. RVA is renowned for its street art, but Rosetta says just like resources, certain spaces are historically left out. You can't not have a Richmond without a Gilpin court. You can't not have a Richmond without a hillside court. You can't not have a Richmond without a Creighton, without a Mosley, without a Phil. You just can't. So when I say uh, Carytown and Churchill and all these areas, yeah, these places deserve art. I love seeing art all over the city. What about these other places? This mural off Hull Street serves another purpose for who it memorializes. Marcus David Peters, killed by Richmond police, and Eric McCorkle, killed in a shooting on Broad Street almost five years ago. His ideas of grandeur, he had some ideas. Eric McCorkle's mother and sister drive past here daily. Whenever I pass it, I say, hey, brother. Um, and I'm, I'm just so happy and so grateful. He meant the world to all of us, actually. He was so funny, so entertaining. He kept us laughing, and he was my heart. A creative type himself. McCorkle's family says the 24-year-old was producing music, a path, violence cut short. My hope is that people will see this mural, see the light and the life in his face, and it'll be a reminder to stop the senseless gun violence. No one wins. Both families are at a loss. Both families lose. I, I really wish they would just understand that. Art might not directly solve the biggest problems. Still, Rosetta and DeMarco see this kind of public expression as more than paint on a wall. Even though uh, both of the people that you see in these paintings have passed and the way that it went wouldn't be, it's definitely not ideal. Um, whenever we're trying to memorialize them, I think it should be definitely a celebration of life.